What's going on YouTube and welcome back to the channel now today guys I'm showing you the best five letters to use right now here in Warzone season 4 So if you guys are new make sure to drop a like subscribe to the channel and hit that bell Thank you guys for watching and let's get into it So going into our first weapon guys we have the NZ41 now this weapon got buffed a lot here in season 4 Which makes it the number one assault rifle just because the STG did get a lot of nerfs So the NZ41 is now the number one assault rifle to use as of right now But going into this class stuff the muzzle is going to be the MX silencer for that first First attachment for that sound suppression horizontal vertical recoil control and that damage at range i really don't need to go in depth but the bullets are stronger at a longer distance you guys know the weapons gonna be easier to control and we have that sound suppression which can help us stay a lot quieter and plus we're staying off the radar just being super stealthy and quiet which is really awesome now for the barrel we're going to be using either two things you can use the 360 millimeter or you can actually use the mk1 burst barrel which i'm going to be using it has a burst fire toggle mode Full auto mode it's gonna help the weapon be highly accurate and controllable and that damage at range is increased so it's whatever you want to run here but I'm gonna be using the burst toggle mode just because they actually buffed it so what happened with this is they buffed the burst toggle mode so you can actually it shoots faster in a way their, their delay is a lot less in the between the bullets and plus they made it where you can hold down the trigger and it's just burst after burst after burst so you never have to take your finger off the trigger and constantly have to tap the button for it to burst which is pretty cool now for the optic we're gonna be adding on the g16 2.5 this can help with recoil control and accuracy we do get a nice zoom in of 2.5 just makes the weapon really nice so i am using this now for the stock, we're going to be using the, there's a couple things that you can really use here. There's a lot. So actually, I think we're going to be using the E-Pack. This can help with recoil control, recoil recovery, accuracy, and flinch resistance. We're going to be a lot stronger here. Weapons going to be way more accurate. Easier control with that recoil control and that recoil recovery, which is really awesome. Now for our first perk, we're going to be adding on Brace for that initial fire and recoil control. And then for perk 2, we are going to be adding on Fully Loaded, so we start out with more ammunition. Now for the rear grip, I do want to add on the fabric grip for that aim down sight speed and sprint to fire speed. We do take a little bit less of horizontal recoil control from that con, which is okay. It's still really nice to use, but I do want to be a little bit more aggressive. You can run the polymer grip if you want to, but the fabric grip is what I'm going to be starting running now for the NZ. The magazine is going to be the 50 round mag for that recoil control and accuracy, that fire rate, the movement speed in a larger magazine size. The ammunition type is going to be the uh, lengthened ammo type for that bull velocity. And then finally, guys, you can either add on the Mark VI Skeletal or you can add on the M1941 hand stop grip for the extra horizontal and vertical recoil control. It's up to you, but I'm going to be adding on the M1941 hand stop. Now going into our second weapon guys, we have the Sten SMG. Now this weapon got a lot of buffs as well, making it a really good SMG to use as of right now. Now for this class setup, you're going to add on the recoil booster for that first attachment. It's going to help with that fire rate. It's going to make you way more aggressive, have a faster time to kill up close and personal. You're going to go absolutely crazy, so you're going to add this on for that first attachment. Now for the barrel, we're going to be adding on the rapid barrel for that horizontal recoil control and that fire rate. So it's a really good combo with the recoil booster. So your time to kill is going to be really fast, up close and personal. And plus we get a little bit of recoil control, which is really awesome as well. Now for the optic, there's multiple things that you can use here. If you want to use the Niter Model 47, if you want to use the Slate Reflector, or if you want to use any of the iron sights, it's totally up to you. But personally, you can either go with the Model 47 or the Slate Reflector, which I'm going with the Slate. I just like it a lot better than the Model 47. It's totally up to you what you want to use, though. But the Slate Reflector is my choice. Now for the stock, there's two things that you can use here. You can use the Gawain Para stock, or you could actually use the Wire stock, which is basically the no recoil in a sense. If you want that movement speed and hip fire accuracy. But it's not really too good with the recoil control and accuracy, which is really important. So we're going to be adding on the Gawain Barrow stock. This can help with sprint to fire speed and movement speed. So we're shooting faster off a sprint. And of course, we're moving faster around the map. And taking a little bit of a hit of that initial firing recoil control, which is okay. For the perk 1, we're going to be using acrobatic for movement speed and sprinting move speed. And then for perk 2, we are adding on quick for that extra sprint speed. So our mobility on this class is going to be super fast. Running around the map, wherever what you're playing, if you're playing Fortune Keep, Rebirth Island, or Caldera when Rebirth comes back, you're just going to be moving super fast across the map, which is really awesome. Now for the rear grip, we're going to be adding on the fabric grip for that aim down sight speed, sprint to fire speed, and hip fire accuracy, and taking a little bit of a hit on that horizontal recoil control. It's okay, up close and personal, you're really not going to have to worry about that, so you're going to melt people really quick with how aggressive you're going to be. 
The magazine is going to be the 36 round mag for that recoil control and accuracy, movement speed, aim down sight speed, and fire rate. So as you guys see, our weapon is going to be firing really fast, which is really awesome here, which is awesome. Now for the ammunition type, I'm adding on the LinkedIn ammo type for that bullet velocity. It's going to help our bullet travel faster in air. And then finally, guys, I'm adding on the Mark VI skeletal grip for that aim down sight speed and that movement speed, making the Sin a very broken class, and you guys need to try this out. So for our next weapon, guys, we have the FFR here from Black Ops Cold War. Now, this weapon did get a buff with that damage at range, which is really awesome, which we're going to be using it a lot more this season. Now, for the class setup, the muzzle is going to be the agency suppressor for sound suppression, vertical recoil control, bullet velocity, and effective damage at range. Really nice to use. We're going to be way more quiet, easier to control, bullets are traveling faster in air, and plus our weapon is doing more damage at a longer distance, which is what we want. For the barrel, we're going to be adding on the Ranger barrel for that bullet velocity and vertical recoil control. So our bullets are traveling really fast across the map, and that vertical recoil control is added onto our agency suppressor. So our weapons can be easy to control, which is really cool as well. Now for the stock, we're going to be adding on the Raider stock for that ADS firing move speed, aim walking movement speed, and sprint to fire speed. So we're shooting faster off a sprint, we're moving faster when aiming down sights, and plus that ADS firing moving speed. So when we're aiming down sight and firing, we're moving a lot faster. The rear grip is going to be the serpent wrap for that aim down sight speed, so we're aiming down sights really quick now. And then finally guys, I did add on the 50 round mag for that large magazine size, so we don't have to reload every time we get a kill. If you want to run the 38, it's totally up to you, but definitely the 50 round mag is a lot better than 38, so I can get easy squad wipes, etc. So that's why I'm using it. So for our fourth weapon guys, we have the AS44 and I'm really excited about this weapon because it got a lot of buffs as well. It's making it a contender for that number one spot from the NZ41 and the AS44, so it's a really close one, but this class setup is really broken and it's really fun to use. So for this class, the muzzle is going to be the MX silencer for sound suppression, vertical and horizontal recoil control, and that damage at range. You guys already know what it does, I don't really need to go in depth with it, but you're going to add this on. Now for the barrel, you're going to add on the first barrel, which did get a buff. It's going to help the weapon be highly accurate and controllable. It's going to dupe scope sway and gun bob, and we get that damage at range increase, so our bullets are a lot stronger now, which is really awesome. Now for the optic, we're going to be using the G16 2.5. It's going to help with recoil control and accuracy. We do get a zoom in of 2.5, so you can see people up close, medium, and long range. It's going to be really nice. Since this weapon got a buff, you're going to be able to take out people at a longer distance, which you're going to want. Now for the stock, you're going to want to use the 12B custom bear, uh, stock. This is going to help with aiming stability, recoil recovery, initial firing recoil control, and that flinch resistance. So we're a lot stronger when getting into those gunfights. Our weapon's easier to control with that recoil control and all that. And plus our weapon is more stable when aiming down sights, so it's easier for tracking. For perk 1, you're going to add on steady. This is going to help with ADS firing move speed, so when we're firing, when aiming down sights, you can run that. Or you can run sleight of hand. Either one really works, but I'm going to be running steady. Perk 2, we are going to be using fully loaded, so we start with more ammunition. For the rear grip, we're going to be adding on the polymer grip for flinch resistance and accuracy and recoil control during sustained fire. The magazine is going to be the 50 round mag. It's going to help that recoil control and accuracy, fire rate, movement speed, and a larger magazine size. The ammunition type is going to be the, uh, where's that, LinkedIn ammo type. It's going to help with bullet velocity, so your bullets are traveling faster in air. And then finally, guys, I'm adding on the M1941 hand stab grip for vertical recoil control and that horizontal recoil control, making this weapon a pure laser beam. Now for our final weapon, guys, we have the MAC-10, which did get a buff, which is really awesome because I do love the MAC-10. Now for this class setup, it's going to be really aggressive, up close and personal, very rushy, so you're going to have fun with this build. So for that first attachment, we're going to adding on the sound suppressor for sound suppression, aim down sight speed, bullet velocity, and that sprint to fire speed. So we're shooting faster off a sprint, we're, our bullets are traveling faster in air, we're aiming down sights quicker, and plus our weapon is more suppressed, so we're staying off the radar, being quiet, which can help us stay alive. Now for the barrel, we're going to be using the Task Force Barrel for that effect damage at range, that bullet velocity, and strafe speed. Although we're losing a lot of vertical recoil control and horizontal recoil control, it's okay. We're going to be up close and personal, like on Fortune Keep or on Rebirth Island. This is a very good build, so you're going to add this on. Now for the laser, we're adding on the Tiger Team Spotlight for that movement speed and aim walking movement speed. So we're pre-aiming moving really fast, and we're moving fast in general. As you can see, the mobility is almost at its maximum. The magazine is going to be the 43 round drum for a larger magazine size. You don't really need to go 53, but if you want to, it's okay. But as you see, the mobility does go down a little bit, so I don't want to run that. So the 43 round drum is going to be well we're using. 
And then finally, guys, we're going to be using the Raider Stock for the ADS Frying Move Speed, Aim Walking Movement Speed, and Sprint to Fire Speed. So we're moving really fast, shooting faster off a sprint. As you guys see, we have almost maxed out the mobility bar, which is really fun and makes this weapon really quick and just high mobility, which is very awesome. But anyways, guys, these are my top five weapons to use right now, which all of these got, you know, buffed. But if you want to know what else got buffed or nerfed, I will leave in the pinned comment under this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Y'all stay safe, and I'll see you on the next one. Thank <laughs> you.